So when I'm planning my meals, one of my favorite things to do is what I call a two for. A two for one. Where we can get one ingredient, cook it for dinner, and then use leftovers to create a completely different meal. Tonight's dinner is leftover pot roast beef stew. I made a pot roast last night in the Instapot. You can make it in your oven. And now I'm going to use the leftover pot roast to make beef stew. To the stove. I'm going to start with my Mison Dutch oven. Now we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on it, in it, not on it, in it. This is a light olive oil, it is not an extra virgin olive oil. I find that light olive oil is better for sauteing. Because you don't get as much of that olive oil flavor. So we're just gonna let the Dutch oven heat up and we're gonna add garlic and onion and start to saute them until they become aromatic. So this is about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Um, I use a lot of garlic, so much so that I'm growing my own this year. And then one small rough cut onion. I didn't mince it or anything. I like big chunks of stuff in my soups and stews. We're gonna let it do its thing and I'm going to chop up the pot roast. So I've swapped to my glass cutting board. And that's last night's cooked pot roast. sizable roast for two people. Um, I cut it up into six rather large chunks. Um, we ended up eating like two of them. Okay, so I think it was closer to eight. Anyway, we ate a substantial amount. I gave it, I had a dry rub on it, which um, flavored it. And then I pressure cooked it for about an hour and a half. And now we're just gonna kind of cut it into cubes. It is not going to stay in cubes in some places because it's pretty tender and it's falling apart. One of the added bonuses of making a pot roast before you make beef stew is I got a lot of broth off of it, which I'm going to use as a stock for this soup. So my onion and my garlic are starting to brown, caramelize a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add our cubed carrots and tomatoes. I'm sorry, carrots and potatoes. This is about four sliced carrots and about 10 Yukon Gold style potatoes. It's not gonna be a very big batch of beef stew. There's just two of us. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to make huge portion sizes. But it's definitely scalable. While that's cooking, I'm going to add salt. Thank you. 
add some crushed ground pepper. I feel like when you're cooking and not baking, you need to err on the side of your own judgment based on what your family's taste buds are like. And when making stews, I always err on the side of Simon and Garfunkel and uh, use parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme to season my stews. Unfortunately, I am out of sage right now. So we're gonna have to just use parsley. Rosemary and thyme. I'm seeing where the edges of the potatoes and whatnot are starting to soften up and brown a little bit, which is good. So I'm going to add in the pot roast chunks. Also, we to add a little bit of chicken broth. usually when I make a beef stew or a shepherd's pie or something that needs to be thickened up I will give everything a nice little sprinkle of all-purpose flour and kind of let it brown onto the meat before I add my broth and I forgot to do that so we're going to use my mother and grandmother's trick to thicken your broth so you're gonna take flour and water, and we're going to create kind of like a slurry. Make sure there are no lumps, because that is gross. And you're just going to kind of add that in there. I usually do like one to one ratio. Alternatively, if you are gluten intolerant, you can use arrowroot flour, um, you can use cornstarch, you can, this is gonna sound crazy, you can actually like mash up some potatoes 
and mix that in and it will thicken it as well. Let that continue to simmer. It's going to be simmering about a total of 40 minutes or so. Um, you want this, you want the broth to kind of reduce a little bit. This has turned out lovely. I've turned it off. One of the shortfalls of the electric stove is that it takes a while for the stove to actually cool down. So we're going to let it just kind of continue to cook a little while longer on just the heat of the element and the Dutch oven. So I've plated up dinner with a couple pieces of the oatmeal bread that I made earlier today. I'm gonna go get Everett and we're gonna have some dinner. Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves.